Well, this is our first full day in Amsterdam, and so far we've done a little bit of walking, uh, and we really enjoy looking at all these shops and uh, all the cool streets and buildings, and just the overall energy of the whole place. And behind me here, there's a statue of Rembrandt with some of his work. So we're gonna keep walking, and you guys can follow us. There are 165 Amsterdam canals that combine for a length of over 100 kilometers, or about 60 miles. This canal ring became part of the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2010. There are 2,500 houseboats in Amsterdam. Many of them have been afloat for more than a century. There are different types of houseboats, and the concrete type are the most desirable as they don't need to be taken to the shipyard for repairs. In Amsterdam, just about everybody bikes. It's not unusual to see mothers or grandmothers, or even police officers or business people just happily biking along. Some people even walk their dogs by bike. There are actually more bikes in Amsterdam than there are permanent residents. We're just at the red light district here and uh, unfortunately I can't show you any pictures of anything because it's illegal or the, the girls or whoever's dancing doesn't like it. So I'll just kind of give you a pan of the area here. Here's the red light district around 7 p.m. Uh, and even though a ton of it's known for being a bit seedy or a little bit of a dodgy area, uh, it really doesn't have that feeling when you're there because there are so many different tourists uh, that are wandering around, it kind of gives you a safe feeling. Of course, Amsterdam is also known for its special coffee shops, and there are no shortage of those. Another coffee shop. Here we are en route to one of Amsterdam's most famous attractions, the Anne Frank House. Behind me here is the Anne Frank House. We've been in the line now for about an hour and 10 minutes. As you can see, it goes all the way back there. And uh, apparently you can avoid this entire line if you purchase your tickets online, which we should have done. During World War II, Anne Frank hid from Nazi persecution with her family and four other people in hidden rooms at the rear of a 17th century canal house, known as the Secret Annex. Anne Frank did not survive the war, but in 1947, her wartime diary was published. In 1957, the Anne Frank Foundation was established to protect the property from developers who wanted to demolish the block. The museum opened on May 3, 1960. It preserves the hiding place as a permanent exhibition on the life and times of Anne Frank, and has an exhibition space about all forms of persecution and discrimination. In 2013, the museum had 1.2 million visitors. This is Anne Frank's room. As you can see, there are lots of pictures and posters kind of scattered around the walls, just like any typical teenager. This staircase leads to an attic, and in one of Anne's diary postings, she mentions that this is the only space that she has in order to breathe fresh air in the mornings. This is Anne's personal diary. I'm sad to say this is our very last day in Amsterdam. And the end of our six week travel adventure. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.